hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this beautiful bridal robe you can see it looks so beautiful on my clients so for this robe i used 20 yards of nets i used 20 yards of nets and one and a half yard of doll face and one yard one and a half yard of lining as well so i also used one row of bias for this row so it is very beautiful and you are free to sew it um, in any color any length you want so make sure that your net is up to 60 inches at least 60 inches some nets are longer than 60 inches so if you want it to flow like this make sure that the length is up to 60 inches so let's get to work first of all i am done with the pattern drafting i'm not going to do the pattern drafting because i have a lot of corset videos on my channel so you can go watch that and this corset is a three-piece corset you can see i have number one number two and number three so i'll go ahead and cut them out i'm cutting the bra up out for now so after cutting them out i will cut the upper piece and the lower pieces so this is the upper bra curl. so when i cut the one one i will join them together and then we have the number two and the number three so for the back part i did not add any zipper allowance like before i did not add any zipper allowance instead i reduced the back by four by two inches that is on fold so if you open it up it will be four inches so that's how i did the back so this is the upper piece of the bra cup i'll go ahead and join the two of them together then it will give me one piece so yeah you see i have the number one the number two and the number three because this bra cup is going to be a three pieces bra cup so that's it so i'll go ahead and cut the skirts of this um robe it will be very short the length of my skirt is 34 inches plus one inch for folding so make sure that your skirt is very short like very very short this lady is tall that's why it is 34 if the person is short 30 is okay or 32 so i'll cut the back part you know how we normally cut our straight cuts i have cut the front i'll use the front to cut out the back and it will have a zipper allowance remember the upper part does not have any zipper allowance but the lower part the skirt area we have a zipper allowance so i am done cutting out my pieces and i have cut out the lining as well you can see how they look so this is the upper part and this is the lower part the center front is unfold remember it is unfold if you want to open it fine you can open it as well so first of all i'll start by joining the bra up you can see i have three pieces here the upper piece and the lower pieces so i'll first of all start by joining the lower pieces together i'll join the lower piece the number two and the number three you know we have to bra cups and we also have the lining for each of them so i'll first of all join my door face and after joining my door face i will join the lining so i am joining the door face for now after joining the door face for the number two and the number three i'll join the lining then after joining all those i'll start joining the upper parts like the number one I don't know if you understand first of all join the lower pieces together and after joining them then you can now add the upper piece so i am done joining the lower pieces i'll go ahead and join the upper piece so i will join it for this doll face and after joining for the doll face i will join for the other doll face and for the two lining and after doing all this joining your bra cup is ready like your bra cover i will use an already made bra cup for this so after doing this notch and after notching iron it so so well so for the loop that is for the back i will use my bias this is i use one row of bias so i'll fold it into two that is how i normally do mine i will fold this bias into two and i'll start running a stitch on both sides like after running a stitch on one side i'll run another stitch on the other side to hold them together because i want the bias to be strong i don't like folding it into tiny pieces into a tiny piece 
I love making it bold. So what I do is that I normally fold the bias into two and then run a stitch on both sides of the bias. So right now I will start cutting this bias into three three inch like three three inches long. Each each loop will be three inches long so you cut like 10 or 12 pieces and this is what i will use for the loop that is for the back for tying the back if you want you can do an eyelet so i'll start fixing my loop i'll start fixing my loop after doing for this side i will repeat the other the same for the other side i'll repeat the same thing for the other side so this tutorial most of the video will be on my sewing machine do not be angry it's a kind of so a long video so that is it for now i'll go ahead and turn it with the line this is the back part i'll turn it with the lining so back to the back up i'll add a design to the three piece like i will run a bias i'll use it to kind of decorate the bra up so i'll use this bias to close all those areas where i joined my bra up from so i'm closing the down part and after closing the down part i'll go ahead and close the center line so you have you feel free for your bra up you are free to do anything you like but this is what i choose to do so i'll insert my bra up inside and i'll use a pin to hold it down for now but later or uh, later i'll seal tack it with my needle so for now i will hold the bra up cover to um, i'll hold it down to the bra up using a pin for now so right now i will go ahead and decorate the main bodies like this is the center this is the front part of the corset i'll go ahead and design it with this bias uh, strip also so you are free to design it the way you want you can run your bias the way you want i don't know if you understand you are free to run your bias the way you want so after designing it i went ahead and added my bra curl. so right now i'm adding my bra curl. so i'll join my bra curl for the two sides So you can see after joining for the center, I will, I will flip it and join the side. So you will sew the fabric separate, separately and the lining separately. Like you will join the bra up cover the lining part to the lining and the fabric to the fabric so after doing this i'll repeat it for the other bra up so i am done joining the two and this is the lining i'll go ahead and join the bra up of the lining as well so this is what i have feel free to trim down so this is the back i'll go ahead and make my casing on my channel for my boning so for the back i'll just run a stitch on the main fabric i'll just run like multiple channels so this uh, stitch that i'm running right now will hold the fabric and the lining together so that means i will insert the bone in between the fabric and the lining so just make like um 0 0.3 inches case 0 0.3 inch casing or channel for each of your bones so i'll go ahead and um run like two or three depending on what you want so for the skirt part you can see how short the skirt looks so go ahead and mark your measurements and join and remember cut a lining i cut a line i cut a lining for this skirt so remember to cut a lining as well it's it will give you a neat finishing so i am done joining my skirt so if you join you will trim off the ss allowance if you have excess allowance so i'll go ahead and join the other side of the skirt and after doing this i'll repeat the same thing on the lining please remember to close your zipper allowance before joining the skirts that's how i normally do my shaping i will close my zipper allowance so after joining the fabric open the zipper allowance it will be open for now open it and then fold the down part like hem the down part 
I don't know if you understand. After shaping the f- shaping the skirts, like joining the front and the back, I opened my zipper allowance. Because right now, this skirt will be our guide. The upper part does not have a zipper allowance, remember? So the skirt is the only part of this dress that has a zipper allowance. So it will be our guide. That is where I will join my net. Because the upper part, the measurements has reduced. So... I'm done joining my lining as well. And after joining the lining, reduce the length of the lining by like one inch so that it will not be showing, so that it will not be um, showing or no one will see it um, through. I don't know how to put it. So that when you're wearing it, the lining will not be coming out. So reduce it by one inch before you hem or before you fold. So after that, I'll open the zipper allowance for the lining. I'll open the zipper allowance only. I don't know if you understand but for the main fabric i opened everything i opened everything because that is where i will join my net so this is the upper part and i am done joining the bra up and i have tacked the bra up down with my needle and thread so right now i'll go ahead and turn the neckline and the sides so when you are sewing use your sewing machine to give it a very nice sweetheart neckline then after that notch and top stitch after top stitching you can close the side please top stitching is very very important and use your machine to give it a fine sweetheart shape i don't know if you understand use your machine to give you can trim the sweetheart before turning but if you did not do that use your machine so you can see it has a nice sweetheart shape right now i will take my body measurements and then I will place the back and the front together and I will join. So I am done joining. And after joining the front and the back together, I will determine my half length. And I will go ahead and trim. I will trim my half length. And after trimming my half length, I will also trim my armhole. Some people have been asking me how I normally join my sleeve to my corset. This is how I normally do it. Just trim your armhole like a normal off-shoulder armhole. There's nothing much there. You can see the way I trimmed my armhole. That's all I do. And after that, you open it up and trim the excess allowance. Then after doing that, you insert your bone. I used um, a plastic bone for this. I used a plastic bone for it. So I'll go ahead and insert my bones in all the channels that I made for it. So if you want to use an underwire, you are also free to insert your underwire at this stage so feel free to insert your bones you can see i'm inserting the front ones in so i'm inserting them in the channels that i made with my bias so for the back you can see the casing or the channel that i made for it i ran a stitch on the main fabric and the lining so that is where i'll insert the bone so after that you can see how it looks so this is the skirt part i'll make sure that the waist they are equal at the waist so i'll add my nets on this skirt part like this is where i will do my gathers i will not do my gathers on the busty or the upper part i will do my gathers on the skirt part so i'll also mark this you see where i marked this is where the net will overlap so that it will give a space for the slits so they will overlap each other this net will start from one point of that chalk and go to the back the other one will start at the other point of the chalk and go to the back so this is for the sleeve your sleeve should be 30 by 30 30 inches long 30 inches wide and it will be on fold so that it will be double you can see i ran a stitch i ran a stitch on the two of them where i will insert my elastic so after inserting my elastic it will gather it will be 30 by 30 so that it will be very full and it will be double so that you can just run a stitch on the two of them and you have a space where you can insert your elastic so right now i'll start from one point of the chalk like i will start from the back and then stop at one point of that area where i marked that chalk so i am done making my first gather on the skirt each this net will be we have two layers like i will gather twice so i am done with the first layer of my net i'll also go ahead and do another make another gathers with my net this is the first layer it is single for now so i will cut off the excess excess net 
Remember, I told you guys that at the slit area, the nets will overlap. Like so, this one stopped at the slit area. So I will cut off from there, and I will make another gather again. Like I will start, I will start um from the back part, from the zipper allowance. You can see the zipper allowance. I will start from there, and I will make another gather again on top of the one that I've made before, and then I will stop at that slit area as well, the place where I marked my chalk. So you can see some parts of the skirt is still remaining. So to close the slits you will use the you, the net is double right so you will use one to turn one you can see what i'm doing you go to your sewing machine and join the two of them together you cannot leave the rough edge like that so since this net ha um is too like it has two layers what i'll do is i'll go to my sewing machine i will use one to turn the other one that is what i'm doing right now and after doing that you will go ahead and trim the remaining one you will trim off the rough parts like so this is one part of the slit area so i am closing it so after that i will start at at the other point where i marked that chalk and then join my second net so after doing that you notice that the net will overlap and you will have your slit so you don't cut it open like the normal way we cut our slits they will overlap so that you can open your slit the way you want so i am done joining the second net and at the zipper allowance i will join the door face and the two nets together this is the zipper allowance so i will join the door face and the two nets together so that they will not disturb me when adding my zipper for now i have not added my lining so at the zipper allowance you will join the two nets to the skirt So after that, you trim off the rough parts. So this is one side of the zipper allowance. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side of my zipper allowance. Like I will join my two nets. This is the door face. This is the skirts. So I will join my two nets on the skirts. And I will run a stitch down. This is for the zipper allowance, remember so after doing this i'll go ahead and close my zipper allowance like i'll leave a space for my zipper and i'll close the remaining part of the zipper so right now i'll close my, i've joined the upper part i'll close my zipper allowance you can see you can see the line where I joined my skirt part from before. So I'll go ahead and leave a space for my zip and then close the remaining parts. I have joined the upper part, the corset area. I have joined it. So I am closing the remaining part of the net. So when I reach the down part, I will trim off the excess. So when I reach the down part, I'll go ahead and trim off the excess. So right now, I will insert my zip. I'll fix my zip. So you can see the space that I made for my zipper allowance. I'll fix the zip. So everything you are doing should be on the skirt because it will serve as a guide. So I'll go ahead and fix the other side of the zip. So if 
you can notice, I have not fixed the lining of my skirt parts. So after fixing the zipper, that is when I will join the lining because I will use the lining to cover this rough, rough, um, rough space on my waistline. So I am done fixing the zipper. So I will open it up and I will reduce the length of the zipper. So after reducing the length of the zipper, I will introduce my lining. So I will use this lining to cover the rough edge of this waistline. So I will use it to cover the remaining parts of the zipper because you know the, the corset, the upper part did not reach the zipper allowance. So I will use my lining to cover that zipper allowance side and I will go ahead and join the remaining, I will, I will go ahead and use it to cover the remaining parts of the waistline as well so that it will not look so rough inside. So I'm done closing the waistline and here is what I have. So it is remaining the zipper allowance. So I'll push my hand through from the inside. So I'm done closing the waistline. So I'll push, I'll raise the um, rope, then push my hand through in between the lining and the doll face then i'll push the zipper allowance out and then i'll close it with my sewing machine So I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So I'll close the rough part of the zipper allowance. And after that you can see how neat it looks so right now I have covered the remaining part of the zipper allowance because the corset did not reach the zipper allowance so I covered it with my lining so right now I'll go ahead and fix my sleeve so if I close the zipper you'll see the waistline is looking okay now so the sleeve it depends on what you want and I have my armhole already so I'll go ahead and add elastic to my sleeve and I'll fix my sleeve. So just go ahead and fix it. And if you have excess, you are free to gather it around the armhole. Like if the armhole of the sleeve is wider than that of the bustier, you can gather the net around it and it will fit. I'm done with this side. I'll go ahead and fix the other sleeve. So take your time and fix the sleeve. So this is the final part of this tutorial and at the end of the day, 
my robe came out beautiful so add your applique and every other thing you want to add so you can see the final look of the robe you can see the slit area the nets overlapped each other i don't know if you can understand so guys please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe so that you can see more of my tutorials see you in my next video bye